Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Miles to Mile 2006. He is in his T49. This is a tier 10 game on Glacier. I'm sorry if I still don't sound quite 100%. I am still battling the same cold sickness death thing that I've been battling for the past several days. And the reason you guys didn't get a video on Wednesday, if you are not a member of the Discord channel uh, and you didn't know why, that's why. I uh, I was not in a good way on Wednesday. Not in a particularly good way yesterday either. Um, or this morning when you guys get this video. Or rather, yesterday when you guys get this video this morning as far as the recording goes. Oh yeah, shotgun! Oh yeah! That's how you start off a video! That's the name of the, the title by the way. It's, it's gonna definitely be shotgun. <laughs> or point and click death. One of the two. That was epic. That poor evil knight had no chance at all of avoiding that. Oh. This subject's gonna be an issue though. Yep, if he can't get into some cover, but of course he can. And now he's gonna scoot on over. Um, he's gonna look to put a shot down into its engine deck, or something's in engine deck. And it looks like he's gonna get the opportunity. Oh yeah, 800 damage into the back of a version 4. We'll take that every day of the week. Um, now it's looking at us though. <laughs> That's not gonna happen again, most likely. But, uh, for the first shot, that was pretty good. Whoa, I'm not feeling all that great now that I start talking. Oh, it's the AM axis size. No, we're not going to do any of that. But uh, thankfully for us, he s keeps his rear end pointing directly at us. And lets us pop him for a whole thousand damage. And then he burns a little bit. And now he's still shooting at us, but he can't actually pen us. So hopefully somebody just pops around the corner and pens him. Nope. In fact, he's going to continue doing damage to us, so we're going to have to take him out of the game without the awesome amounts of damage. Oh well. That's the first guy to lay hands on us this game, and hopefully it's the last because we can't take two more, more shells like that. That 268 is just going to sit there. Are we going to be able to get an angle on him? I don't know. Looks like no, but maybe. Ooh, looks like an angle is going to appear on the WZ. Unfortunately, that shot went a bit forward. He needs to be a bit farther up the, uh, up the craft, up the hill, up the uh, aircraft carrier before that was going to be able to connect. I'm pretty sure he was just aiming for a, uh, a near miss kind of thing. Oh, engine deck shot. Oh, yeah. Give me that 800 damage. So that WZ is like, what? What just happened? But um, that's okay. I don't mind if he does it, you know, just sits on the same spot, right? Oh, no. Now the Jag tire is going to go take his space. Because, of course, nothing bad could happen to the back of a Jag Tiger. He turned just in time and denied us shooting him for 800 damage. Instead, we only did 327 to him. Type 5 Heavy is going to try the same thing. Okay. I mean, we're about to be loaded. Type 5 is about to be in position. Uh, no. Can't get the gun down far enough to hit the engine deck. Okay. So the HE damage is going to hit the engine deck. Set him on fire. And he's, uh... <laughs> he definitely cooked some modules off there. Okay. So... Almost 5,000 damage, less than four minutes into this, or just over four minutes into this game. Sorry, and um, yeah. Now, let's not get shot, because of course, the uh, the version 8 can definitely take us out in uh, not too much effort. And it, it's not a, a, <laughs> not scared of us, that's for sure. So we definitely got to pay attention to it. He's calling on artillery to hit the uh, the version 8, but the problem is artillery is not going to be able to j just do everything he wants. Um, 
He's either going to need to scoot across here, um, or he's going to need to fall back. Or wait till the version 8 gets distracted. The problem is, there's only one. There aren't any more allies on this side of the map. So, yeah. Iron, higher enemy force ran into these few guys and then died. Except, of course, for our Type 5 Heavy, which... I can't see him on the map. Where is our Type 5 Heavy? No, that's their Type 5 Heavy. My bad. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong team. And that is what happens when a version 4 gets allowed, is allowed to shoot at you. Our 60 TP, that was the, the big heavy we had over here, and he he died in quick order. Probably to the Type 5 Heavy. See, I'm not fully better. My mind is not working right. Otherwise, I would not have spent that much time looking for a tank that didn't exist. Um, and then, of course, missing the fact that we could shoot the Type 5 Heavy in the back. Now, if this is going to be a victory... We're going to need one more shot like that, at least. And, oop, type 5 fires. That gives us an opportunity to slip in here. Nope, never mind, it doesn't give us anything. Um, if he locks out of here uh, to the front, most likely the the 2.6 version 4 is going to take him out. Oh, nope, the Udiz gets the type 5 out of there. So now we're just looking for the version 4. Who's in exactly the same location, but he fires. We missed the shot. And now we can operate with relatively relative ease because we know where he is. And we know where he isn't. With luck, artillery will land a shell on him. And we won't have to worry about dealing with him again. But if that doesn't happen... We're going to have to get a little higher up to the here. Ooh, nice shot on the move to eliminate one of the toughest enemy opponents. T69 being the only thing left. It looks like it's currently dueling with the T44, and the T44 wins that duel. Now, can we uh, invite the T44 to a platoon before the game ends? So we get some nice brothers in arms action. Well, we'll have to see about that in a second. So we jump over to see his battle results. This game was made in the first few minutes of the game. Ace Tanker, Spotter, Bruiser, Arsonist, uh, do a Fire for Effect, a single Bond, and High Caliber Awards. We shotgun the poor even 90, <laughs> lit up the 268 version 4, and literally lit up the uh, AMX. Additional damage came from when we lit the Type 5 on fire. And then there's a couple other bits in there as well. But um, <laughs> those were the most fun. Lighting the Type 5 on fire by shooting in the back of his turret and having the splash damage damage the injured enough to light on fire is pretty good. I'm not certain I could beat that. It was well played by everyone, uh, a lot of people on our team. Not so certain about the guys down here. <laughs> Um, and definitely well played to mile here. Well done, sir. With or without premium, he made money in this game. And that is what you want to be doing every time you take your tanks out, uh, for the most part. And so, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This IOE Throat.